Welcome everybody into this new video. In today's video we'll see how we can set up correctly our Coinbase account. This is not like a very correct way of setting up an account. I'm just going to show you a way that we can best improve our security inside our Coinbase.com and what we can do to make this a little bit more accessible. So now that you're into your Coinbase.com application, you want to go into your icon of your account and go into manage your profile or you can go into your settings, which is uh, more easier. If you don't want to receive notifications, you can just uh, uncheck this marks. As you can see, I've unchecked this one because this is really annoying guys to see a lot of notifications. Now, what you guys want to do to go into the security section here. And now, if you have a strong password, you can leave it like that. If you want to change that, just hit into change passcode. But what I want to show you guys is the two step verification, which is right in here. So currently I'm using an authenticator. What's going to happen is it's going to be sending me a code from my phone number from an authenticator application and I need to provide that into Coinbase the next time I want to sign into my account. So it's really, really simple how I can have my account a little bit more strong and secure. So there are a bunch of other options. If you want, you can be sending a text message every time you want to sign in or there's always a security key from a security key device if you want to do that as well. And just in case if you see something unusual into your account, you can lock that your account and freeze all the transactions just in case there's something unusual into your account. Now here into the device management, we have a lot of trusted devices. If you see that there's some device that you don't recognize, you can always go into the remove device so you cannot see in here and that device will no longer have access into your account. And in here into the activity section, you're going to see all the transaction history that happened into the coin tracker, coin buys wallet, into the Coinbase extension. So everything that has to be involved from your Coinbase account, you're going to see it here into, into the activity section. Now in the payment methods, I always have a credit card in order for making transactions. And in my case, I want to currently constantly buy cryptos. Uh, and I want to have my money available every time. But just in case that you don't want to have that, you can always remove it from your account. As you can see, we all have the level number one when we create our account. And the level number two refers that you have provided the Coinbase application, a verified personal information and a photo ID, whether that will be from a passport or a government ID or a driver's license kit my account is much more safer and now it's been set up correctly so i'm going to be sure that i have all my information and data in order inside coinbase so there you have it guys hopefully this was very useful for your coinbase account let me know if you have any question don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about the coinbase application or the wallet from coinbase thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time